facing now is what is called eternal struggle. Eternal struggle. Yeah, so you have all these different formations who think they have the better way. So at the end, we've been saying this for 100 years. So 100 years now, we can look and see where we at now and where we started from. So this is very important. And we're not about understanding what's going on. We try to understand through comprehension. Ugh. Are you done? We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. That is who we are. You know why men, black men kill each other? Because they don't see each other as Jesus Christ. You're yeah, Israelites on the side of the truth. Let's talk to Hebrews uh, 7 to 14. Because they don't see each other as Jesus Uh, hold on. So, let me ask you, how you doing, my brother? I'm great. What's your name? It's a query. It's a query? It's a query. I'm a citizen inside the provisional government from the Republic of New Africa. Okay. Out of Mississippi. Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. So, my name is Ja'anai. All right? Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Good to meet you, too, brother. So, let me ask you. Let me ask you. What, is, what matter of fact, let me ask you. Uh, so, what do y'all do? I'm, I'm interested to know. What do y'all do? We advocate for a separate government. South Carolina, Georgia, and uh, Alabama. Okay, okay. You can Google it. The Provisional Government for the Republic of New Africa. Okay. We, uh, we, we, we work with some of y'all guys, black Israelites out of Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, you okay. Uh, do you know the group out there in Atlanta, Georgia? No, I don't. Not up here. Okay, okay, okay. You know what colors they wear? Because I want y'all to know it's, it's a difference between different. It's, it, we're all Israelites now. We're all Israelites. But it's different groups of Israelites, right? So, and, and, and like us, we're Israel united in Christ, right? We're not affiliated with other Israelite groups, right? It's very important to stress that. But that's good. You're trying to set up a separate, a separate government, right? Now, if if you work with Israelites, right? You know Israelites we follow the Bible, correct? So is so are y'all trying to go away from like this government and have your own rules regulations? Nineteen fifty eight. Okay, now I'm asking you, I'm asking you. Has, has that been successful? I'm asking. Yeah, to some degree, yeah. To some degree? Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna show you what uh government that we go by in the Bible, okay? Now I'm gonna speak for us in general, alright? Get um uh Psalms so, no, Romans thirteen. Romans thirteen first. Romans thirteen first. Cause we we as the Israelites, we understand what position we in in this land right here, right? We understand that Caucasian, the European, they own this uh, side of the world, right? They own America right now, right? Yes, they're ruling over it. Yeah, they control it, right? It don't belong to them, but they control it, right? Big difference. Exactly. So, well, they own it right now. They do own it. They do own it. Plus, it was Israelites own it, the so-called Native Americans, Hispanics. But now they took over and own it, right? Now watch this. Because if you own something, you're able to pass your own rules, regulations, correct? Right. So, so they, they, right. In order to get a driver's license, you have to go to them for it, right? Get to them to me, 48. Right. We have no economic power. We have a lot. We just don't use it, but we have. We have. Right. And, 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 and I, I got it. We spent 60 million dollars last year on potato chips, brother. <laughs> exactly. Guess what? What? How many? How, how much uh, money our sister spend? Seventy. Okay. Billion. All right. Exactly. So, Lisa, we over the fly. What's your nationality? Israelite. All right. There you go. There you go. You all running that thing now, all right? And we that fly, all right? All right. Uh, get do out of 2038. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Go ahead. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemy. So as the Israelites, we understand our position in this land right here. God, one of the curses for our people breaking the commandments 
We're going to have to serve our enemies. That is the Caucasian race that's ruling over us right now, right? We had to serve them in the cotton fields, right? We have to serve them at their job, their unfair job right now, right? But which the Lord shall sin against thee. And we as the Israelites understand for us breaking God's commandments, God sent the white man against us. We understand that. But a lot of people don't understand that. We understand that, go ahead. And hunger. So we understand we have to go to them for food. We don't own the, uh, the big plain fields with your corn, your, uh, uh, your um, what, what else in the field? Your corn, your fruits, your vegetables, right? We don't own all that, so we can't grow those things, put it in the markets, right? And go to our own uh, people that sell it and get it for ourselves. We're going to do them for them, man. Right? And in thirst, and in thirst, if you got a house, you don't pay the bill to uh, K. Sean or J. Kwan that's uh, up the street out of your office, right? To pay your water bill. We got to go to their facilities to pay our water. If you don't pay that water, what is the white man going to do? Cut it off, right? Go ahead. And in what? I'm yeah, and in nakedness. And in clothing. All the clothes in our backs. We don't own the cotton, right? We don't own, uh, what's some other, um, the flax. We don't own these things to get it and form it into cotton, into shirts. We don't own those textiles. You understand? Right, so you got to have a whole government with facilities, businesses, offices, uh, 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 industrial manufacturing companies to make all these things, right? We gotta have a government set up, you know. And in what of all things? You wanna get the point A to point, point A to point B, you gotta have a car. You gotta get the gas to fill the car to go there. You need, if you know wheels don't work, you gotta go to room for it. Right. You gotta, we have to go to room for everything. Right. They own this place, right? But and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So the same man is going to put chains on your neck. What happened to you? What happened to blacks, so-called Hispanics and Native Americans? We got the signs. We had chains on our necks. Right. Ever since slavery, how can you set up your own government, right? How, and, and it's not wrong with trying, but how can you be successful in setting up your own government when these people have hundreds upon hundreds of years above us earlier, right? Set up and everything to keep us down, right? To keep us from not succeeding in this land. But it's a way we can succeed though. But good. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed us, right? Now we call ourselves black, we call ourselves Hispanic, African American, Native American, when our names is Judah, That's right. Issachar, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Naphtali, Benjamin, Zebulon, Levi, that's our names. You understand? But watch this, Romans 11. Romans 11, because we understand that this, gov this government is not set up for us to succeed, right? And we can, because we can try to build our own government, right? Where are you going, bro? You gotta go? We sh you sh we going over the government. This you got a flyer? No, I don't. No? Uh, give me a flyer. I'm Sir Jacob. I have one already. Oh, you have one? Okay, 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 okay. I got you, got you, got you. I'm on point, Okay, so like I said, it's, it's not why we're trying to set up your own government, but the government we all should be striving to set up is the government according to God. Right. God okay. Mm -hmm. Atlanta, Georgia, as well. Okay. It's being done. We know about them. It's not. It is not. What we're witnessing now is it's called eternal struggle. Eternal struggle. Yeah, so you have all these different formations and think they have the better way. So at the end, we, we've been studying this for 100 years. So 100 years now, we can look and see where we at now and where we started from. So this is very important. And we're not about understanding what's going on we try to understand through comprehension are you done are you are you are you done
difference, right? So what you're doing is great. I support it. I got your flyer ticket for you. I'll look you up. I'll do some research. Okay. But like I said, we are working with the black uh, Israelites in Atlanta. They do work under the Republican of New Africans, the federal government. They have their own president, vice president, treasurer. They travel. It's been in existence for over 60 years, brother. Okay. You know what I mean? So anytime international things happen, when African people are involved, they are the people that free these individuals. Okay, now watch this. Didn't the Black Panthers try to do the same thing? Well, yeah, that's why I just told you. Now, eternal struggle. All I got you. All formations are going to do that, including you. Uh, right? No, no. So we're different. The, we're different. Listen to me. You, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go, 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 go. When you see a race, everybody said get on the market, set, go. You got hundreds and hundreds of people start off this marathon, right? Because they all believe that they can finish. They're going to cross the finish line. Right. Right? But a lot of them don't cross the finish line because of eternal struggle. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you, all these different beliefs out here or what we're trying to do, everybody's going to have an eternal struggle, stru uh, struggle, right? But watch this, the Israelites will never have an eternal struggle. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. together right if y'all got one if both y'all got two different goals right can y'all work together no you gotta find somebody that has the same goal in mind with you right so let's see the same goal that we as God's chosen people we may go in the new YB we might go in the Black Panther we might go in the Africanism but what is what does God say our our God what does he say we gotta go in Ephesians 4 and verse 2 the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 3, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. We all, as God shows the people, have to endeavor to keep the unity. Like, brother, let me ask you, what's your nationality? I'm, I'm African-American. You're African-American? Now, let me ask you, hold on, hold on, watch this, watch this. Jay, 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 come back around, come back around right quick. Come on, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you right there. I ain't, I ain't, I, mean, I, yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you. I ain't got no problem. So watch this, you say you're African American, right? Is she the same person as you? Is she the same person as you? Yeah. What's your nationality? New African, we don't use that term. Jerry, Jerry, right? Jerry, I'm gonna ask you. We are the same people, right? What's your nationality, Jerry? He's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Now hold on, hold on. What's your name? Tremaine. Tremaine. If all three of y'all are the same people, but all three of y'all got different nationalities, what's going on here? There's an internal struggle, right? Yeah, that's right. It. That's but hold on. According to the Bible, you are Israelite. Whether you want to call yourself African American. Or not. Or present. Or present. Right. Because you want to call yourself New African, right? He's an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. Whether we want to subscribe to other names or not, we are all Israelites according to the Bible. Yes. Now, read on, read on. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3. And yep. we to keep the unity. Come on, come on. We, we ain't trying to... Get out of it. <laughs> all right, I got you, I got you, I got you. But you're dealing with semantics and you have to also understand... So we're doing semantics? So, yeah, you have to understand the, 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 the science of the economy. The sun and the, diff the, sun and the moon are different. Man and woman are different, right? So God created all these individuals. Okay. I'm just trying to show you something. We have uh, to complement one another. We complement one another. We're one of the same people, but we have to find comp The common ground is what's your nationality? I'm just that sport. You're not new African, you're Israelite. Listen. Okay, that, I, I, hey, so hold on, brother. Don't leave. Don't leave. No, I got no. Get, uh, First Corinthians 1 and 10. I'm going to show you. 
I understand we only gonna be out here for five more minutes. That's all. Just five more minutes. That's all we're asking. Five more minutes of your time. You got that? Now I'm gonna show you what what you're saying. New African, to even call yourself after Leo Scipio Africanus is off. That's not right. No, that's God's opinion. Read that. Now I'm gonna show you something, brother. But listen, listen, and that's but listen, listen. The book of First Corinthians, chapter one, verse ten. Now I beseech you, brethren. By the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. That we speak what? Same the same thing. Speak what? Same the same thing. That is division to call yourself a new African. Right. It's division to call yourself an African American. It's division to call yourself a Democrat or Republican. That's division. God says, read that again. That ye speak the same thing. Uh -huh. And that there be no divisions among you. And that's what that causes. Now, mind you, they're trying to start a new government. You're going to start a new government. Has any government ever in the history of the world, brother right here, I got a question for you. Has any government in the history of the world ruled at the same time another government ruled? It's always either one government ruling all, and that's it. Everybody else on the bottom. How are they going to make another government within the same government? That's not possible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.